Alright, hey everyone. Uh, we're doing another Dominaria draft. This is after the new December patch, so this is going to be ranked, I believe. So let's see how it goes. <laughs> Lich's mastery. Um, I mean, I am ambitious, but not that ambitious. <laughs> Making Lich's mastery work in limited would be quite the feat, and don't really want it for constructed either. I mean, it's a really interesting card. Six mana hexproof. You can't lose the game. If you gain life, you draw cards. You lose life. Uh, exile a permanent. And if Lich's Mastery gets destroyed, you lose the game. And there's there's not enough board wipes for enchantments. I think Cleansing Nova is the wait. Cleansing Nova is not even in this format. So basically, if you get Lich's Mastery on the board and have a ton of life gain, you can win the game. Uh, the value of this is just insane, but <laughs> yes, yeah, 6 mana with triple black. It's pretty heavy commitment to black, and making it work is not exactly easy. Let's see what else is in this pack. Onsara's Wing is quite the bomb. Uh, I mean, it's single white, so it doesn't commit us, so we can stay kind of open. And if you put it on like a big creature, you basically can win the game. Shana is pretty good. That would be a nice card to wheel, but don't want to commit two colors so early. Cloudless Sphinx is great in blue. I'd be really happy if this came back. So the question is basically between these two. <laughs> and as much as a meme as Lich's Mastery is, um, yeah, I don't think I can pick it here. Maybe if it wheels, we'll pick it. But I think the pick is on Sarah's Wings. Alright, let's see what's good in this pack. So, Time of Ice is pretty good if you have like an aggressive tempo deck. Because um, it's a pretty nice tempo play on 4 mana. Champion of the Flame I'm not too hot on. Gideon's Repair is actually pretty good in white. So you already have Onsara's Wings, this is a pretty decent piece of removal. Uh, 2 mana, 4 damage, at instant speed. Kilgo Skin, which is pretty nice card in black, but we're likely to see more of those, so I don't want to pick it too early. Jousting Lance is pretty strong. That's also a nice card to pick up unlimited. There are... Don't seem to be any other really nice cards here, so I think we'll just take the reproach. Alright, what's in this pack? This is uh, quite a weak pack. There's a 4 mana wall. Uh, healing Grace would be nice with uh, <laughs> it would be nice if that uh, Lich's Mastery wheeled back even Sentry 4 mana 3 to flying is not a terrible card I really want to commit to white um, Arcanist can be good it's a 2 mana 1 3 and helps cast instants and sorceries Spine Charge okay these are all like okay not really great pickup. Soul Salvage is a nice card to have, actually. Helps you get back your bomb creatures. Uh, I like having a one-off of these in my black decks. Cabal Paladin is nice. Uh, 4 mana, 4 2. It's kind of an aggressive creature. Uh, it's mostly good if you have some historic synergy, because it does uh, like damage directly to your opponent. So it's like free shocks every time you play a historic spell. It should be pretty nice. Ah, uh, this is a hard pack. So we could pick something like Soul Salvage or Paladin, or even our Arcanist to go into another color. Alternatively, we could pick an Event Sentry, which we'll most likely end up still playing. Uh, I think that's that's the pick here. All right, what's in this pack? Not great cards. So, uh, sorry, sacrifice an artifact or a card. Not really for us. Sentinel of the Pole Trident. When it enters the battlefield, you may exile target destroy permanent. Return that card to the battlefield under its owner's control. Interesting card. 5 mana 3 3 in blue with flash. Uh, Invoke the Divine is decent for a sideboard. I mean, there's no sideboard in this format, but I mean, running one off is. Not even terrible because there's a lot of artifacts and enchantments in this format, but don't want to be picking it this early. 
think this pack, best cards for us. I mean, these are all average. Best cards for us are probably Jousting Lounge. Uh, just not a pretty strong card in this format, or Divination. Divination is great value, and Blue White is a pretty strong archetype in this format, so I think we pick Divination. See where it goes. Alright, let's see what's in this pack. Tragic Poet is pretty nice to get back on Sarah's wings, so that's a nice synergy. Final parting. Uh, it's double black, 5 mana sorcery that lets you basically get your best card from your library uh, and then discard one. But the discard can just be like a land or something. Uh, but yeah, 5 mana spell just to fetch a card from your library is at this point it doesn't seem too relevant since we don't really have any big bombs. Um, on the other hand, what else is good in this pack? Chronicler is decent in wizards, but we haven't really seen too many wizards in the boss packs, except for Arcanist. Uh, there was a Tolarian Scholar, I think, actually. But I mean, we haven't seen any like great wizard payoffs. Uh, Sapport is good in Sapperlings, but we're not close to that so far. Guardians of Kolos is... Mm, it's good if you're running some sagas, I guess you can get like multiple triggers off of them. But probably not running that either, so I think Snapper is the best card here. If you get Snapper with Ontario's wings on it, that's like a win condition on itself. 5 6 flying hexproof. Yes. Right, so in this pack, these are all very average cards. Black isn't looking very good here. And Omnivore is nice with Sapperlings, but not much else. Candle is expensive, slow removal. Glider is not bad if you have uh, if you need three drops and have some artifact synergy. Unwind is an okay counter spell. Uh, three mana counter. It only counters non creature spells though, so it's only uh, that is a restriction. Although it does pay for itself because you get to untap the three lands after you use it. But I think rather than unwind, you just pick up the nice two drop here. First strike flying. And has some historic synergies. Alright, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So it looks like... Uh, actually, is this the original pack? I think the next one might be the original pack, I'm not sure. Uh, Curator's Ward, Enchanted Permanence as X Proof. And it leaves the battlefield if it was historic, draw two cards. This is nice to put on like a legendary gives it hex proof it'd be nice if you had to protect something but we currently don't have anything like that so currently it's just three mana make something hex proof of course it, it if it does die then you get to draw cards but <sighs> the plus on this is not too great i think the unwind which is i mean ugh. This is common, so we're likely to get more counter spells, probably better ones, something like uh, Retard, maybe in Blink of an Eye. So we don't need to focus on Unwind too much. Maybe, I mean, Skin Witch, seeing Skin Witch or late is also interesting. We could also just splash black. Skin Witch is going to be like a turn 6 play usually anyway. Maybe take Skin Witch and stay kind of open, because these cards don't really excite me that much. Ooh. <laughs> This is a pack we haven't seen, so I guess our first pack. Oh, this is pack 8. So yeah, I think yeah, the next pack will be the one we start with, and we can see if the Lich's Mastery wheels back. <laughs> um, Slin Voda. It's 8 mana, 8-8. Eight, eight. And I mean, the kicker, we can play him for 10 for a board clear, but 8 mana in Esper, or even in Blue White, is going to be pretty hard to get to. Because we have no ramp, pretty much. Board the weather light is nice if you're running a ton of historic cards. Basically helps you look at five cards and then fetch what you're looking for. Uh, Artifice assistant is decent in a deck with a bunch of historic stuff. So far, it's just on Sarah's wing, so not that interesting. Ingress acolyte is decent in black if you're committing to more. Uh, black uh, might be the best card in fact though don't think we have the support to play slain voter especially because it doesn't even have evasion 
So it's just a 8-8 eight, eight for 8 mana with no menace or like trample or anything. So probably assistant versus acolyte here, depending on if how how much you want to stay in blue versus uh, diversify. I think it might be decent to play acolyte here. Oh, looks like Lizard Mastery didn't come back. That's sad. Uh, so what do we pick here? We could pick a dub. Uh, dub is... I found dub to be surprisingly uh, worth it in this uh, format. So let's see how many creatures do we have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 3 non-creature spells. Okay. I uh, think dub is... picking up a dub here is fine. Assistant will also be nice, but... Yeah, alright, so we have some creatures, so we can either go for a 3-drop Scholar, uh, which you currently have no 3-drops, 2-drop Excavator, which is basically an <laughs> alternate win condition if you want a Melar opponent, and if you have a bunch of Historic, which you currently don't. It's 2 mana, 1-3 though. It's a decent blocker. 2-3, kills a bunch of stuff. Or we have the 4 mana Explorer. Sure, let's pick up the explorer and see if we can get more of them at some point. Uh, mm. Paladin is the pick here. Alright, so I'll an artifact draw card. You don't really have that many artifacts. This works decently with something like Spiring Construct, but not much else. 2 mana 1 2 is not the best blocker either, or attacker, so I think. <laughs> Guardians. I think Scholar is a nice card filler. So 2 mana 2-2 two, two. is a decent filler. So I think we can pick the final party here in case we pick up a bomb later in the draft. Yep. Unwind wheels. <laughs> okay. So let's look at this pack. This is Jaya Ballard. <laughs> 5 mana Planeswalker. Add triple red. Spend this mana only to cast instant or sorcery spells. Uh, her other plus ones are discard up to three cards, then draw that many cards. And the emblem basically gives all your instant and sorcery jump start. <laughs> Interesting. We also have Diana in red white, which you're not close to. If we go for auras and enchantments, or uh, auras and equipments. We have a Gideon's approach that goes well in our colors, and not much else. Talon is a is a decent three drop. Question is, do we pick up the Jaya Ballard here, or do we just take the reproach? Let's see. Oh, so this we're not too keen on playing. Unwind is also okay. So this is kind of what our deck is like right now. So we, why we could. The reasons to play white are Sarah's Wings and Reproach. These old cards are cuttable. Scholar is also filler, so the reasons to play blue are Divination Snapper. Reasons to be black are... Skin Witch. <laughs> That's it. These are all kind of filler. And Final Parting can be decent. I mean, is Jaya Valor good enough though in Dominaria Draft? don't know. I mean, I don't think there are like really good red instants and sorceries that make like good use of it. There's like Shun Fire that you can kick, and I mean if you pick up a fight with fire, like a <laughs> win condition, there you go, but apart from that, I mean, if you do pick it, we're basically giving up on a Gideon's approach and I mean, it can be kind of a red draft, but it's nice for constructed, I guess. It's not every day you open a mythic. Sure, let's just Prepare pick it. To burn. And then we'll we'll see. Uh Slow Waking is decent, but we're nowhere near green. Seal away is good removal. It's pretty good, pretty nice removal. Ground is double green, so it's not happening. Blink of an eye would be a nice card to wheel. Call of the Cavalry also decent. Some good, really good green cards here actually, like these three are like for a second pickable 
think gift of growth is an okay combat trick. Ooh, Sulfurian Void is actually a really nice card too. But we're not picking it over seal away. Blink of an eye, dark bargain would be nice too if they wield. But let's just pick this. Ooh, Thorn Elemental. <laughs> All these double green cards. Our wallet is nice, but we literally don't have any other legendaries, so it doesn't work in our deck. I mean, we could try building up to it. He is a 5 mana uh, Death Touch lifelink. 3 3 is not great stats, though. Academy Drake might be better, and we could just go for Flyers. I think that might be a better strategy because we already have Disciple, uh, Sentry, and Acolyte, and we could give something flying with, say, something like uh, our Aunt Sarah's Wings. And I don't think Drake wheels either if we pass it now. So let me pick Drake. Alright, what's good here? Uh, is Phoenix worth playing? Well, in a very aggressive deck, which we are not. It is a red flyer, but uh, I don't think we can support four color flyers unless we get some fixing, like a skittering surveyor. Um, Sheenfire is nice and red too. Uh, but I mean, the rest of the red has been really weak. Right, let's put Jaya on the sideboard right now. Hmm. Your trapper is nice because it has some historic synergies, but you don't really have that many historic cards, which is the one actually. Um, maybe take assistant. It's also historic, but it's also one mana flyer, which is kind of what we want. So let's go blue white skies, maybe. Let's try that. Uh, ooh. Tragic Void would be a nice card to wheel. Skin Rich is nice. Talad is nice. Got some really nice card now colors. Journey Mage is really nice too. Uh, if you have a wizard, which we have only Scholar, I think, right? Uh, and the Skin Witch, actually. We have two wizards that can activate it. Um, yeah, then you can cast it for 4 mana. And it basically bounces something. So 4 mana, 3, 2. You can also get another Drake for a flyer. Which might be better since that's what we're kind of going for. More flyers are good. But if any of these wheel, I'd be pretty happy. <laughs> <laughs> and we get past the Lich's Mastery. Do we take it? I mean, I mean, Scholar. Confessor is really nice. Although we're currently not going heavily into black. So it's not really worth it. Not too great either. A skin which maybe. Well, <laughs> this commits us pretty heavily to black though. Triple black. We can't afford to be three color. We just rare draft again. Let's try it. Right. So here we have dark bargain. Another into a graveyard. It's a nice card draw, 4 mana instant speed. Does deal 2 damage to you. It's usually not too relevant. Justin Lance is a nice pickup actually. Don't have any of those in putting this on one of the flyers. Can make it a good attacker. Something like an assistant even. Relic runner. So I think here we pick up Justin Lance. And hope to wield Sergeant at Arms or Assistant. Ooh, another snapper is tempting. Let's look at our curve. Right, <laughs> probably not playing mastery. We don't really have life gain. And every time we lose life, we basically do have to exile something. Just gets really good card draw though, with triple black. Okay. This gives our card back, but. <laughs> It's not too exciting. Nor super heavily into black, so Snapper it looks like best card here. We only have one. Might be nice to have a second. Ooh, healing grace. 
Let's see. It's the upside to mastery enough to pick a healing grace. I mean, you do have on Seraph's wings for some life gain, but honestly, a charge is a charge better. Just have a bunch of flyers and pump them. Sorcerer's Wand, we do have a few wizards this might work with. It does count as historic for, I mean, some relevant triggers. Well, I guess Disciple's the only one now, I think. So we got the Paladin. Uh, Scholar is another 3 drop, but we already have 3 of those. So we're not desperate for more. Mm. Could try the healing grace. Let me just try to go late. <laughs> Let's see. So then now we can go. Oh, Sulfur and Void. Dark Bargain, man, these are good cards. I think I take the Void. Haven't really played with this card much. And uh, Scry One might be nice on the land. Uh, second assistant, I mean I'm not too keen to pick it up now, I'll probably come later. Probably <laughs> possible to find more of these two. The gain for life is really good, right? I think it's... Draw that many cards. If you gain four life, you draw four cards. That's really a nice combo. Although we can probably get another one sometime later. Alright, draw a card. Historic. First befuddle, get an unwind. Yeah, think on the counter spell over. Tragic bullet is nice. All right, let's see what's in this pack. So, yeah, red green don't look too great. I mean, there's some nice wizards, but we're not in wizards. Ooh, Gavu is really nice in green, but. That's too far. <laughs> Triple black dread shade. <laughs> uh, I mean, you can just keep pumping black and get plus one plus one. Lid doesn't have evasion. Chain of Storm is nice. It deals X damage to you though. Does give you a big creature. Trapper Dove, Abominations, and OK Filler. The question is, do we take the Triple Black Dread Shade? The answer is probably no, because you have enough blue and white early drops and not enough black early drops to make this work if we went uh, heavy black. That's nice that this card is. I think we take Chain of Torment. Alright, let's see what do we have here. Ooh, strong card, but. Don't think we can splash. Okay, I think I see what our pick's going to be. Eviscerate, uh, I think by far the strongest card. Maybe Tativa's close, but ooh, Blink of an Eye is also really good. That would be a nice card to wheel. But yeah, clearly. Removal, ooh, Knight of Malice, that's a really nice pickup too. Another Saras Disciple is also nice, but we have enough white to make this a. 2 mana 3 to 1st strike, which is really nice stats. Whisper is also decent. And don't need another one of these. These are okay filler. Another snapper. Don't think we need a third one. Alright, ooh, and a bond. <laughs> this is a fun card in a wizard deck. I actually played it once in a really nice wizard deck that had uh, some strong ETBs with Academy Journey Mages and uh, things like Key 2 Journey Mages that these like do damage and uh, some of the other ones and it was pretty sweet. Uh, these are a really nice card. This is a really nice card for, but these are good cards for Wizards but kind of far from that. Curious War is not too exciting. So our picks here I think are Journey Mage, I mean not Journey Mage, Academy Drake. Uh, she's a third one, or an opt, 
I think we go opt because it's turn one play. It gives us a sky one draw card. It's so nice, and we already have two drakes, so we don't need another one that desperately. All right, Tiana, <laughs> wall. Wall could be decent. I ain't good if you've ever decide to go into Lich's mastery plan, which doesn't look like it's happening, because even without the land, you're already at 24 cards, even though we might not play everything. We're already into back three, a second unwind. Unlikely to play that. We have Feral. Mm. Not with two turtles. I think I just pick wall. Ooh, Rona is a nice pickup for us. Let's us get our another way to get our on Sarah's wings back. Fungal infection is nice, but it's also another historic card that has some synergy with the rest of our deck and lets us exile the top card of our library, so if we have nothing else to play, it basically gives us Pseudo card draw. Okay, second Rona or a third Academy Drake. Second Trash Poet. Uh, not valuing that so high. I think second Rona is better than third Academy Drake. I know we were kind of on the Flyers plan earlier, but we could try this. Ooh, Vicious Offering is good, but Unicorn is also nice. And how many creatures do we have? I think at this point it's relevant. Oh, it doesn't give us a count. Let's just count. So. One, two, three, four, uh, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And then if you're playing the rest, then twelve, thirteen, fourteen. For might not play the wall, might not play the scholar, might not play the poet, or might play one poet actually. Unicorn would be a nice two drop, gives us life link, which works kind of well with uh, Lich's Mastery if you play that. The Wishes Offering is nice removal. Let's see what removal do we have so far. Gideon's Approach, Seal Away, uh, Eviscerate, that's it. Wishes Offering is nice. Another removal piece. Sure. We hope to get another Unicorn maybe. Uh, second dub, second unwind, first feral abomination. I mean, maybe the dub to put on the flyers. Uh, aspiring construct versus scholar. I mean, you're already pretty stacked at three. Construct. Second final parting, first blessing of Bells and Lock. This might be a good trick with Rona, but that's pretty much the only thing it works with. I mean, it's a good trick in black one man. I don't think anyone expects plus two plus one in black in this format. Left one can be nice. Third snapper, I doubt we'll play it, it's too expensive. We do have a final parting already, so I don't think we need a second one. Although that that's a good combo with Lich's Mastery. Let's take this. Uh, ward. Unwind. Sentinel, sure. Alright, this is quite a messy deck so far. <laughs> with the Jaya Ballard. Uh, okay, let's cut some. And then figure out what we're going to play. Fuddle. Not necessarily not gonna play two dubs. Uh might not play this, might not play this. Veal and Grace questionable. These are all good. Might not play this color. Might not play wall. Okay, this seems decent. How many cards is this? Oh, this is a forty card deck. So we could just run it like this. Um Without Lich's Mastery. Which might be nice. Might be the way to go. 
in the mana base. We didn't really find fixing to the mana base. It's kind of wonky anyway. Don't want to strain it too much. Especially with all these early blue, white, and black plays. It's going to be kind of rough to make it work. Uh, I mean, ugh, we could cut the early skin witch. I mean, but that's... <laughs> Don't think we've got enough plays in blue white to replace that though. And we have too much good so Knight of Mouse and Vulture's Offering is pretty good in black that we want to play it early. Report and CLA is good enough in white that we want to play it early. Could cut the assistant because we don't really have that much historic synergy. And then I guess if we cut up then you don't need to go super heavy blue because we don't have any one drops in blue. D it does give us scry one draw card though. It's gonna feel pretty bad if we can't play it though. But then if we cut it then we only have drakes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven in blue. Really needed that early. And say we cut it, then what can we add instead? Then do we go? Maybe we could add mastery. Final parting at five to fetch mastery. Yeah. Don't think we needed that desperately. Could go a wall. Four drops. You don't really have that many four drops. Also, go construct for another one drop, which you don't have a lot of. Could go healing grace. We didn't end up picking up a invoke the divine. So the only life gain we have really is uh, on Sarah's wings, uh, chain restorement, I guess, and healing grace to work with mastery. <laughs> so it doesn't really work that well. <laughs> Oh, where we don't play mastery. But I mean still cutting the early blue makes our mana base just better, so maybe still go this. I mean what do we play if we didn't play mastery? Maybe we play a Tolarian Scholar. That's again blue. Pattern at four is not terrible. We currently only have one creature at four. So I think Wall or Paladin might actually be decent. Just try going like this. Uh, uh, what should I call this? S for Mastery. Alright, let's see. Uh, how many creatures do we have? 13, so we're kind of creature light. 10 non-creature spells, but we've got quite some good removal. This produces a creature if it survives. Um, sure, let's try this. Wait, what's the mana base like? Four blue. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, five white, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And seven black for triple black. I think we do need the seven black. If you plan to get to Mastery, but also 5 white seems feels kind of bad. Because, yeah, hitting 1 drops with 5 white is not going to be pleasant. Also, you don't want to go with 4 blue. This is hard. Uh. The question is, uh, what do we got? Nothing. Okay, let's try this. Doesn't feel too great, but we'll give it a shot. Man, I really wish we had seen at least one skittering surveyor. Probably would have picked it up. Uh, white and double black and tragic puller on one. Blue cards with no island. Sure. <laughs> Let's try. Lava Runner on one is 
not good news. Yep, opponent has to read the card because nobody ever plays it. <laughs> and it's our disciple. Looks like opponent in the aggress aggressive Boros plan. Uh, do we attack? I think we attack. I think we're fine with disciple. Right? Oh wait, it does for a strike. Uh, that was my bad. Oops. So it was only for strike when attacking. Maybe your opponent thinks you have a con combat trick. No. Uh oh. And that's a bad start already. for that so the good thing is you have a land to play something next turn and probably didn't block Slava Runner decently well but we're still gonna take four damage which is not great you can also trade with Knight of New Benalia but oh god 3 to minus first strike yeah this deck might be too fast for us Yeah, having the tragic void back for the night about now might have been good. Full opponent has Shivan Fire. This is a pretty lost game. Well, Journey Mage will do the trick too. Do we trade here? Do we take six? And if we take six, then next turn opponent sinks everything. We can't block that, so uh, we die anyway. Let's see. We can play an acolyte, gain some life, mill ourselves three. Uh, it doesn't block the disciple. Uh, it can trade with the journey mage. It blocks the lava on our this thing heals us too but then they attack with everything so they deal us six plus say they have another two here so that's eight so we still die I think acolyte oh both are Ronas and an island one out of four islands come on GG. Or not. Well, almost. Hey, an island. Might be a little too late though. Uh, you can go Drake into Dub. Drake into Divination. The Disciple has first strike. Just play Dormant, I guess. Yeah, this is GG. Man, that, that deck was really fast. Red White Wizards, interesting. <laughs> and they invoked the divide <laughs> just for fun. Nice. Alright. Maybe we don't run the Lich's Mastery. I mean, I know we didn't really get to play the card, but it doesn't seem like it's going to be worth it. Then maybe we can bring in a Scholar. Right. And now the mana base is much better because we don't have triple black requirements. So we can actually... Uh, six black, five blue maybe. Is that better? If 
five planes. I mean, I guess. Let's try this. Oof. we can play divination and row now if we join the white we can I mean if we join the planes we can play disciple on two but can't really hedge our bets on that all right uh, let your opponent black so opponent's playing pretty slowly because that's good for us so now we have a bunch of threes, which is nice because we have stuff to play, even if we don't go. Ooh! Down three steel leaf. That is very, very, very bad. So the question is do we divination? If we divination, we have to discard. We don't know, but that doesn't really help. I think we go scholar. And then dub. Oh, we don't have white though. Alright, so if you draw white, we can put dub on the scholar. On boy, okay. So, fear boy is not bad. Let's. We have the mana for this, so we'll keep it. Um, the question is. So, I think what we do is we attack with scholar, then if they block. If they don't block, we just do two damage. If they block, then we sacrifice it to kill the Steel Leaf. I think that's the play. Let's see if they block. Alright, so... Then we're gonna kick this. Sack this. Bye bye Steel Leaf. Alright, so now we're on... Uh, Shorter, uh, longer clock, I guess. So now they only have a 3 2. Uh, okay then. Nature's pile in my deck. Things are not looking good for us. Let's go land. So, the question is do we go divination now? Chain of Torment? Or maybe we should have waited for the land after, because we could have gone Seraph's Disciple possibly. Uh,. We play Chain of Torment because that gets us a 6 6 or whatever it's going to be sooner. It does put us really low though. So they're gonna swing for 3 here, taking us to 11. Steel Leaf probably swings in. I mean, Steel Leaf probably comes down. Or. Grun. Who swings for 10 damage. Uh, we don't have the white for this, so might as well divination. And a second Rona. I guess if you had tapped the black instead of the set double blue, there you can play the Rona at least. There's a blocker. Oh god. Uh, I don't like opponents play that if they just attack with the ground alone. That would have been 10 damage and yeah 3-3 three, three demon doesn't really <laughs> say exciting. So let's see. Don't tap my white please. Okay. Get this back. So I can play this for 4. Which gains us 2 life. Puts us at 4. See if opponent attacks with everything. We can block the steel leaf. Um, we don't want to keep reproach open, so then we don't want to use our white. Uh, so if that happens, then opponent attacks. We block the steel leaf. Trade with the envoy. Trade Rona for Grun and take one damage. But then if opponent plays an instant of sorcery, we're dead. I think that's still our best play here. If we put a dub on something, then they attack, we block two things. They get through at least four damage, we're dead. Okay. 
So I think we're counting on the Gideons here. Oh, uh, there's a lava on now. Yep, so we're dead now. I swear Disciple have saved us? Not really. Oh, okay, opponent chose not. So, seal away is really nice draw here. Take away Gron. Play Rona as a blocker. Get our other Rona back. Does mean a torment chain of stormer is gone forever. We have a combat trick. No combat trick. Does mean a Rona goes away. But now we have a nice big boy. Let's see, and next time we can put a dub on the snapper. Just does give it for a strike and it has X proof. So that's gonna be one help for blocker. Question is, ooh, do we have Kick Drake yet? We do have Kick Drake. So the question is, I think Kick Drake is better than Dub. Oh, there's this guy. If we swing, they could have something hasty, and then we're dead. So no attacks. Oh god, that's GG. Madness. Oh. That top deck pierced the sky though. And that was just unlucky. We were almost coming back from that game. And there's still zero wins. Uh, let's see, do I want to change anything? Let's put Snapper Boy on the picture. Still haven't drawn Sarah's Wings, even once. No, let's run it back. Can we just got most of white? Say we got poet, disciple, can put an assistant opt instead. Mm. But in some unwinds instead of say, the seal away or the reproach. We got a dub even. Will definitely help our mana base a bunch. Ultimately, we got the black, but then Rona needs black. And these are pretty good black cards. Lucia's offering is also really good black removal. In Tragic Point, is really situational for Sarah's wings. I guess it also works with Chainer's Torment, it's an enchantment. The question is what do you play instead? Maybe some cycling. Do you want to try it? I don't know, keep the white removal. So one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You go six blue, four white. Go 
but then unwind and cut the dub maybe. Let's try this. Whew, oh man. This has not been a great run. Alright, we run the white for seal away, but we do have divination and draw now. I think that's a keep. So we can go divination first. Especially since we're on the player, so we don't have to discard. Nice, draw a play, and so now we have seal away open if we want. Put it so far on mono red. With the combat trick. Oh, that was weird lag. Ooh, Knight of Malice is a nice play. I think we go this to keep seal away open. And go Knight of Malice. Pass. <laughs> so because of the first strike, we have pretty good blocks on this now. On the goblin. Uh, they do play goblin barrage. They don't sacrifice the goblin, interestingly. Okay. Alright. Uh, I think we steal away. To release the pressure. Since they're mono red, they're probably gonna be really aggressive, so I think we might have the better long game. We're not 6 mana yet, this is 7 mana to kick. Do we just wanna go roll now? I mean, we don't have anything historic to get back, but. Don't run that many historic cards anyway, and this might be the most mana efficient, because then we can go 6 7. Uh, no blocks. We might have a combat trick. Okay, that was really aggressive. So, let's swing with Rona first. Then get our big hexproof boy in. So now we have a good blocker. And they can't just kill him with burn spell. Stop that. Nice. Ooh, so we can keep unwind open for combat tricks. But I think with seven mana we just go kick trick. Uh swing with this, they don't have good blocks. I mean they might have a combat trick, so actually let's not swing with that. Forget what the combat tricks in red are though. Run amok in this format. Might be. Alright, they're not attacking. Not sure what plan the opponent's on. So this lets us keep up unwind, but so does Chain of Torment. And I think we prefer Chain of Torment. So let's go to combat. Attack with both of these. They don't have good blocks. This is one, two, three damage. Let's see if they have a combat trick. Decide to jump block. It's fine with me. Let's start prepping up that huge nightmare creature. Ooh. That is a big boy. So a goblin. Yes, no blocks. So 
we go sentry and then we can't hold up unwind I mean we can opt end of turn worth it. decent attack with the dragon still I mean the dragon so now we would have the one uh one turn clock with the flyers so if they don't do anything we kill them next turn Fire Elemental doesn't do much. Sure. Okay. Surrender. All right, one win. <laughs> Getting there. Yeah, maybe we should just commit to the flyer strategy. We will search disciple, but again, that's white. Screws up our mana base. Do you have any other flyers? Not really. Right, let's run it back. Ugh. Slitch's Master would be really fun to build around though. Maybe I can make a constructed deck around it now. Ugh, can you imagine if you had picked up the first one and you're like building towards it the whole draft? Could have had two of them. That would have been pretty sick. Joey's kick ass. Alright, interesting name opponent. Ooh, all three colors of mana? You bet I'm gonna keep it. Especially since I don't think we have two color requirements. And Arona is a nice draw. Keep up our removal spells. Pass. So now we have Vicious Offering and Seal Away open. Sure. Don't think we wish is offering that. Do we play Rona? I think we hold off on Rona. Um, simply because we can get Chaina's Tormund back with her. That's kind of a greedy play, but uh, yeah. Just so we get to keep open Vicious offering to or seal away. Probably Vicious offering. Plus two, plus two. So I think we're offering in response. So that's a nice two for one. Scholar is a nice draw, but I think we'd rather go chain a storm at this point and get digging. Opponent not having a board state also means you can end up with something like a 10-10 nightmare horror creature should be hard for opponent to deal with. Oh my god, Icy Manipulator. That's not nice. Uh, so, mana efficient, go Paladin. So, Dustin Lance, interesting. Good card. Oh, we get a, uh, I guess, 12-12 Nightmare Horror. It does have uh, Summoning Sickness. So, do we go Scholar? Do we go, I think we go Rona. Get back the Torment. It deals 2 damage to them. Nice little combo there. Don't think there's a counter spell in one white. Don't know what they're holding because it does. It does seem to be waiting for them every time. So next turn we can play torment again. <laughs> it does make, put us dangerously low on life though. Yeah, I don't know how I feel about this card. In next one they can just tap uh, tap the nightmare with IC. Don't think there's anything we need to play before combat. Surprised they didn't tap it with IC before combat. 
Uh, now if they tap it, I don't think it does anything. I mean, sure. Opponent might be dead here if they don't have anything. Uh, okay. Guess that might save them. Uh, did they just protect my paladin? What is going on? Yeah, definitely some misplays with the opponent there. There was <laughs> definitely not GG for us, but I'm not complaining. <laughs> you gotta swing in with the 12 12. Hey, okay, finish our mission, do. Two wins, alright, that's something. <laughs> Let's see how far we can go. Yeah, the Legends Mastery was really tempting, but I guess I should have just stuck stuff to the Flyers team. Alright, dual land is not gonna cut it. Although if we do join to three, this opens up these three for us. Let's see, is the upside good enough? Join to fourth land, we get Janus Torment. Uh, we go first, so we basically have... Two draw steps to make it work. Seems really risky. God, that's even worse. Let's keep this. Yeah, run on three is nice. Alright. Oh. This doesn't feel great, but might be okay. I think now we play Drake on three. I'd rather have that than draw now. Especially against green, because unless they play Pierce the Sky, they're unlikely to have an answer to Drake. So it's a it's good card to be out. It also blocks the elf well. So they can't attack. The opponent is ramping. Spider really screws us up. Luckily we have Eviscerate. So we can attack, but then we have an even clock. Supposing can also swing for two, although I'm guessing they'd rather use it for ramp. I'm hoping they will. Uh, I guess not. Up him to a lot of ramp, I wonder what the opponent's going for here. Uh, let's go the Scholar. Scholar makes a good blocker. What do they have? Wishes Offering, Eviscerate. Okay. So now opponent does have uh, bad attacks. It's good for us. Sentry. Oh, Wishes Offering to kill the Elf. Or the Druid. Rona doesn't get anything back. It she does help us get card advantage though. So let's go to combat first. Attack with the Drake. Do flying damage is nice. Question is, do we go Rona or keep up with his offering? Going Rona might be worth it. Let us start looking at more cards from the top of our library. Although without lands, that might not be the best idea. Gives us another blocker though. Alright, let's play her. Let's see what opponent has. Alright, now <laughs> we really need white. Looks like opponent is stuck on five lands. Although they have a ton of ramp. So shouldn't be a problem. Although it might be a good idea to kill the druid. Just 
stop them from playing out more stuff. Right, opponent isn't attacking. Uh, let's egg out Rona. Come on, what is it? Okay, it's a land that we can't play it. Okay, follow it, not bad. And a land. Scry one. Island is nice, but I mean, no. Everything we have needs uh, planes. So that goes to the bottom. And then we go to combat first. The attack of the scholar, they don't have good blocks for it. I mean, oh, they can block with the Latimer Scout though. And you don't have a combat rake, so yeah, this is the only good attack. Post combat paladin. I guess we should have this Alfirian Void and kept up like a uh, swamp or something. Or an island for Opt maybe. I don't think there's one mana removal in this. Call the cavalry. Opponent finally draws into. I guess they're looking for planes maybe. Break dies. That's not nice. If you do drop planes, you can put Onsara's wings on Paladin and just swing for I don't know five three life link. Oh god! Double ancient animus. That was a very interesting turn. Don't think I've ever seen anyone run that many ancient animuses. Uh, so if we tap this, we still have two mana open. It, there is some stuff in our deck that we could play for two. Let's see. Knight of Malice would be a really nice draw. Alright, that was a plane. No! Alright, uh, it's fast turn then. Alright, four more left in the deck, I think. Or maybe three more. <laughs> uh oh. Our red is not good. Right, planes is nice. So, put this on draw now. I think we have to do kick vicious offering on scholar. <laughs> An opponent might have gift of growth, but Where we can get out sentry. So I've taken away the source of lifelink. Oop, they have a sentry now, so that's a good blocker for Rona. But we have kick trick. Four, five, six, seven. Yep. Well, that made that decision easier. Of course, I'm not attacking. Lurf, main deck invoke the divine stuff. Oh, they're playing a kicked spell. Oh god, untamed Kabu. That is pretty good. Kick skin witch, but they don't have cards. So, yep. Alright. Swing to the block with sentry. 
So do you wanna keep land open for Rona? Do we play sentry? We play sentry. So opponent should have enough mana to play whatever they just threw. In case they don't draw this like kick skin which next turn. Five damage, we can afford to take it. I think. Unless <laughs> they have some really weird combat trick. Um Skin Witch. Make them discard what they're holding, it might just be a land. I guess it's a land. Swing the flowers, they might trade the sentry. Gives us lethal next turn. We can trade off Arona because we have another one to get it back. And also get back on Sarah's wings. Which is pretty sweet. Spider is not what we needed. Maybe we play this then. That deals with spider. Oh, that's first strike now. So, you have to sacrifice your spider or die. Each Jousting Lands got card. But they do have 5, 6, 7 damage now. Even if you block the cow with skin witch. Uh, Alright, opponent surrenders. Wow. <laughs> Getting wins. And there's 3 wins. Alright, let's see how far we can get. As for flowers, good strategy. Um, turn one assistant, but nothing else. If we draw into one more land, we can go Drake. If we draw into a swamp, we can also go row now. And then it's just up to. <laughs> Let's try. Alright, swamp it is. So we have at least Drake and Rona open. I think next time we next turn we go void to. Alright, four lands. Scry. Do you want another swamp? I mean, we don't need another island actually, right? So you have one, two, uh, three, four, well, five. It'd be nice to have a land, but I'd rather be drawing swamp planes. And this might be a risky move, but I think that's the right one. Get an Allen anyway. Think we go Drake. Not like we can block well anyway. Arcanus. Oh, they have a pretty strong clock with four damage. Uh, I don't think we trade the Drake. Currently losing. Oh, <laughs> we could really use the swamp. We play Rona and just trade her away. Might be the move. Arcan is unblockable too. Annoyingly. This does help us get on Sarah's wings back if we lose it, but without the planes, that's. Already thinking on conditionals. Oh, and we get a scry one. Didn't you think of that? Oh, uh, yeah, sure. We can draw that, and the next turn we can use that to scry and <laughs> draw. That's not bad. Unicorn. 
It's a good creature. So trade this away. They have a combat trick. Add a jewel. That's a good one. Swamp. Uh, main phase opt. Yeah. It's a good card. Adjusting lands. Don't equip it yet. Does let us cry. That is not a card. Uh, it's a decent blocker, but that's not a card we need. Currently, we're just looking for planes for on Sarah's wings, or another land for Snapper. It all should be decent. Snapper makes a good blocker. Don't think we ever block with Drake or with Assistant. But opponent has three, four, five, six, seven damage. Switz is pretty close to dead, so maybe we actually might have to block with Drake. Opponent has charge, we might be dead. Let's try this again. The lifelink on that is pretty Okay. That's probably GG. I mean even if we get Sarah swings on that. Uh I see they're doing Two damage unblockable. So attack with Sarah Angel. It's another four. I mean we can sacrifice assistant for that. Oh, let's go snapper. No attacks. So if they block, we block unicorn with snapper and jump block with assistant. I think that's gonna have to be the move. Okay. Do Sarah Angels? This is definitely GG. Like, the hell am I supposed to deal with that? Uh, sure, why not? Can't really do anything else. Let's swing with this. You can double block with Sarah Angels. Yeah. That was a. Uh, Wait, what? <laughs> Opponent in jail as we had first strike. Uh, yeah, that's interesting. So since we since the total had first strike, and he double blocked with the Sarah Angels, um, the seven damage was enough to kill off one of the Sarah Angels. So that when the remaining angel dealt four damage back, it wasn't enough to kill our six damage. Flying hexproof virtual and lifelink total. <laughs> With jousting lands with four strike. Oh, that was four strike too. Yeah, I mean came back up to thirteen life. I mean yeah, it was seven seven powers lifelink swing. Four wins. I mean I really didn't think we were gonna win at that point with uh double Sarah Angel. <laughs> but I guess the deck pulled it together. Yep. That's why Cold Order Snap is a good card. Turtles with Ansara's wings wins you games. Oh, all three colors assisted on one. Good removal. Okay, late play. Actually, a keepable hand, I feel. The any hand with all three colors of land is actually probably pretty decent. Given how inconsistent our deck can be. Alright, let's play this to keep up the seal away. Attack with this. Next turn we can get a row now. It's not the best play, but we kinda need to go about skittering surveyor. That's not good. to get. Okay. Island is an interesting pick. I think attack with the surveyor first. This also gives us a scry which is pretty neat. And a swamp is not what we need. We already have five lands. Probably gonna try into at least one more at some point so we're not to be trying into action at this point. 
Everyone has also a good blocker for their board right now. Get what red, blue, green is called. They might have a pump spell. And we'll most definitely have a pump spell, gift of growth. But it's nice to get their pump spells uh, used now, so that later when we have something like a, oh, maybe not peculiar. Right. Stack with the assistant. They shouldn't have a block. Great. I don't think we see the way they use or block it. Honestly. Um think the move here is to use Rona's ability to exile something end of turn. And that way we get to get one more card if it's a land it just gets exiled, which we don't need anyway. So no blocks. It keeps waiting, it feels like they have some sort of like combat trick. That's Yova, that's gonna be a good seal away target. Alright, let's see what's on there. Academy Rick is pretty nice. Justin Lance is also good. So you can probably hold Academy Rick to kick. You also wanna keep seal away open so we don't wanna play Acolyte I think. So I think we just play... Although I doubt they'll ever attack with Tati Yova into our board. Okay. Keep this open anyway. Knight of Grace is pretty nice draw. Uh, let's just do this. And. Actually, I think with Knight of Grace coming up, we might as well play Drake. I doubt they ever attack with Tatiova, so. Might just be nice to get the Flyer's damage going. Throw from the ashes, that's gonna give them two life and two cards. That is strong play. Good combo. Yeah, the, the life gain from Tatiova is gonna be really annoying to deal with too. The good thing is if they swing with Tatiova, she still stays tapped during our turn. Which, I mean, they're unlikely to attack with her because we have to go. Um, I don't think I agree with that, but sure, we'll take five. Huh. Very interesting. So we play a land. Definitely seal away the Tatiova. Let's see, did they have any interaction? Right. Definitely feel like a misplay on opponent's part there. Uh, so Knight of Malice is a great play. Good blocks. Uh, Justin Lance just gives uh, faster block though. I think we might just put that on Drake and then swing. Swing uh, with everything since we're not going to be blocking with Rona anyway. Six lands. So I think next turn we go Knight of Malice. If we draw one more land, then we can go Malice into Acolyte. Just empty our hand. Opponent's not playing white, so I don't think we are weak to like board wipes or anything of the kind. It's nice. So now we might have to spend some mana re equipping Jousting Lands. Alright, unkick Saprolink Migration. Interesting. Alright, on Sarah Swings is pretty neat. Uh, I think the way we go is Knight of Malice. This turn equip Jousting Lance onto Assistant. Swing with the Assistant. Next turn put Sarah Swings onto Knight of Malice and swing for 
Uh, seven damage in the air. Oh, that's a big boy. Rona's gonna have to block that for sure. Ooh, do get a scry. Uh, do we want the land? One, two, three, four, five, six. Says five. Well, we're not gonna be able to cast both anyway, so I think not. They don't have game against flying. Life gain is pretty useful. So now this blocks everything they have except the worm. The worm we can just jump block with Rona. It doesn't have trample. And I don't think we need the value from Rona anymore. She's just a 2 2 now. But the pseudo card draw from Rona kind of helps deal with the mulligan sometimes. Alright, Flemin surrenders. Oh my god. <laughs> After those initial two losses, this deck has been doing surprisingly well. Alright, let's see what card we got. Meteor Golem, interesting. So after <laughs> going an 0-2 start, you just go 5 wins in a row. Yep, that's the way to go. Let's see if we can make it to 7. Now, this has been a very interesting run. <laughs> I think probably the most interesting one probably had to be the one with the snapper and uh, on Sarah's wings. That's pretty cool. Uh, double snapper. Me and we have seal away. Can't play assistant without blue. Skin rage we are not really happy playing on two. I think we might like this. Alright, an even worse hand. Keep this. Uh, sure, we can go 2 3 4. I mean, we're not happy playing Skin Witch on 2, but. Yep, again, something like. Mono Red, or. I mean, it might just be Boros or something that's like super aggressive. Is it? Okay. Yeah, even against them, having Skin Witch is just a uh, really nice blocker. Sulfurian Void is pretty nice. That's a good card. It is a 5 drop, so we'll be hoping to draw into land, but if we do helps us. Life gain is not insignificant, so let's play that. Oh. Syncopate. Nice. Alright, alright. Opponent is building up an aggressive board. Now we just leave up unwind. Probably play a creature spell though. Don't see a reason for the pen. Yep. Alright. So they're just full on wizards. Paladin. Blocks the journey mage. Still take four from the rest of them. Uh okay. I think we take this block if they offer it. Also dies to shield fire. Alright, so it doesn't block that anymore. Okay. So the question is Acolyte or Shield Fire? Acolyte gains us three life, but we're gonna lose five anyway. So net loss of five life. Net loss of two life. If we block this. I mean, this doesn't kill it though, unless we kick it, so... I guess it's gonna be Acolyte. Right, we lost a Rona and a Turtle. Feels bad, man. Turtle would have been a pretty good blocker, actually. Most of their stuff. And... That's probably almost game. So we're gonna have to kick Wishes Offering here. Uh, the question is what do we sacrifice? 
That's the paladin. Flyers are more relevant threat, although we probably just trade it off. Also, if they have another instant sorcery, so we played once. If they have another one, then we basically lose. Fire elemental. Okay. This is probably GP, but let's just play it through anyway. Play scholar. Chum blocks. Rona. Gets back. Another Rona. <laughs> I need another little scholar. Yeah. Only thing big enough to block the fire elemental in our deck is. So if we don't block it, we die. If we block it, then we take two damage. Yeah. Just super weak to fast aggressive decks. Rona. Get back another Rona. Uh, if we play it, <laughs> we delete Rona, so we can't tap her. So, yep, this is kind of GG. Oh man, that was rough. Sure. Oh, alright. The win streak ends. I mean, <laughs> she still made 5 wins though. <laughs> Is better than I expected after that start. All right, let's see. Uh, Six fifty jumps is nice. Let's see what we get in our pack. All right, Tempest Chain. It's nice, but I already have a full playset and my mono blue deck. Flame of Kill is nice. Might be able to build something around that. I think isn't there? I think it's kind of popular in mono red. Rest of this all like average. Um, yeah, let's let's see that Lich's mastery though. Lich, right? Cool card. So <laughs> you can't lose the game. Whenever you lose, whenever you gain life, draw that many cards. Whenever you lose life, for each one life you lost, exile it for a minute. You control. It leaves the battlefield. Lose the game. Let's go. Black white life gain. Oh, we have four copies of Answer as Wings now. That's cool. Alright, so War Leader is nice, but oh my god, double white. Gotta be careful of that. Danata is uh, happy inclusion. Inspiring clinic. Might be worth playing. All right, Martyr of Dusk maybe. Lord of Prime is nice. Dawn of Hope is nice. We're going life gain for the card draw. Maybe a couple pride mates. Vanguards are nice. Healer talk for the flying. Welcomes. Probably make some cuts in a bit. Black. Moment of graving. I guess he got moment of triumphs then. Black definitely has better top end. Uh, first off, call to the feast. Black White doesn't have shock lands. That's sad. 
Intervention is nice, but <sighs> not splashing red for that. Can we see a curve? Alright, so we have a bunch of nice ones. Good one of twos. Maybe you can get more. No, I need more threes. Pretty stacked on fours. Also need removal, so let's look at threes first. Another cleric. And Oak the Divine helps us deal with enchantments, which we have no way to deal with yet. Maybe we run one of those. Four mana flying lifelink versus two mana drain one and three mana green one. I think we can try this one of each and then just we want removal. So let's go for uh, conclaves. Conclave. Uh, remove this. Conclave Tribunals. Let's run three of these. Uh, let's run a couple of murders. Right, we already have uh what's the run condition here just do whisper. It'd be nice if you had a lighter or something. <laughs> Fortunately I don't have any bombs in white. We also have a unicorn. Wonder why that didn't show up, or maybe I just ignored it. <laughs> and you could also just play history of Benali, a strong card. <laughs> um, let's see. I need. Two power or less creatures do we have? Quite a few actually. Maybe we play Mentor of the Meek for a card draw. That's a decent three drop. And then shall I maybe for top end? Don't really have a great top end. Let's go top end in black. Well, the reborn is a nice inclusion. So to deal with hexproof, so let's take that. And let's look at the curve one more time. Set mastery. Alright. 12 12. And all early drops are right, but we do need triple black later. So some double blacks. I think this is okay to run. What lines do we have? Turn a memorial and stuff for planes. And then black white. Or an isolated chapel and I think that's it. Alright. Let's go to some free play. See how this goes. Uh, actually I should probably make a new video, so thanks for watching the draft and <laughs> watching me make that whole uh, Blastery deck, I guess, but uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video.